Hello guys, welcome to Asian Petra. Today we have the 2023 Audi A3. It is okay right now, but very, very big typhoon just passed us here in Korea. So before it starts to rain again, so let me just make it brief, but fun. So A3 is the subcompact sedan from the Audi, classified as the C segment. This is actually the fourth generation based on the MQB platform that is also shared with Q6. And this guy starts around 35,000 US dollars. And Audi says this new A3 is heavily influenced by the Lamborghini, both in terms of the exterior design and interior design. Yes, from inside, I see many toggle switches here and there and these very distinctive events those remind me of the ones from lamborghini wars but i'm not really sure what it's referring to from the exterior design we're going to definitely show you the exterior design after driving but for now let's do focus on driving okay before we really start driving this car let me just tell you a little bit about this press car like i told you this is the fourth generation a3 but unlike in europe here in korea we only get it with one engine choice that is two liter turbocharged gasoline engine producing about 201 horsepower and 221 pound feet of torque engine made it to seven speed automatic with a torque converter you can also get it with quattro all-wheel drive system but a tester did not come with all-wheel drive system but it should handle quite nicely and 0 60 time wise it only took seven seconds to hit 60 miles per hour and oh let me just put the car into dynamic mode and this two liter turbo pulls quite nicely Ooh, not bad what about visibility well this is subcompact sedan so obviously do not have any commanding view looking down from the top but actually it's pretty easy to see out of the car because there isn't anything blocking my line of sights and actually it feels like you're sitting in the car rather than on the car so you feel more secure when you're you know driving fast through tight corners um, and we also have a blind spot monitoring system and seats are very comfortable and seating position is quite low we're still in dynamic mode let me just tell you a little bit about this two liter turbocharged gasoline engine because its peak torque starts around 1600 rpm really pulls nicely from the bottom and it really loves to be revved all the way up to the red line red line happens around 6200 rpm so yes not exactly the powerhouse but it's more than enough to pull this uh, audi a3 very effectively um, so but if you want a little bit more power then you should go with s3 which makes over 300 horsepower but for most of us i think this two liter turbo should be quite enough yeah pulls nicely and it's smooth and quiet the feelings can handle very nice even without the all-wheel quattro all-wheel drive system handles very nicely and like i told you it's really pulls nicely from the low end good turbo there isn't any sound generator, so it's pretty quiet from inside. And it sounds pretty all right for a two liter turbo, but if you want a little bit louder exhaust note, I think, you know, adding an exhaust and intake will do the job. Pulls very nicely all the way. Wow. 
An engine is made into seven speed automatic, not dual clutch transmission, but automatic with a torque converter. I think it's my first time ever driving seven speed automatic. Uh, we're also given paddle shifters, still in dynamic mode. So let me just show you three, four, five, six, seven. So gear short compared to eight speed automatic, six, five, four, three, But as you can see, it's uh, shifting quite nicely and smoothly too. Look, three, four, three. Wow, very good unit. Very solid gearbox. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I like it. I like it much better than um, seven speed DCT. It's smooth, but as you can see, it's shifting quite quickly as well. So it's smooth and nice. And when you do put it into uh, like uh, comfort mode, yeah, it become smoother. Very nice gearbox. And let's also do check out the handling capability. Really wish it came with the uh, Quattro's all-wheel drive system, but still, even without it, it handles very nicely. Wow! So basically, it would understeer if you really push it, but it's really easy to correct and play with. I mean, I like BMW's handling capability but Audi is also doing a very good job I mean if it had quattro system it would handle much better but even just uh, with front wheel drive it's very playful and easy to modulate good job Audi so how's the ride and isolation well in comfort mode it feels quite comfortable I mean not overly too stiff but it's you know it's Germany so it doesn't feel overly cushy either so it's very comfortable and like i told you seats are quite comfortable and you know i think it will be very good long distance cruiser but uh, a tester you know you can get audi a3 with adaptive cruise control and lane capacities but a tester did not come with it but you still get uh, regular cruise control and you're gonna have to steer yourself and as the uh, isolation noise level goes, uh, it's not, we have single windows all around and I can hear lots of noise coming from the bottom. So yes, this is premium Audi brand, but you know, they still doubt about the class, you know, C-class, subcompact. So yes, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bit windy day today, but as you drive faster and faster, you just, hear more noise coming from the A pillar and from the bottoms. Yeah, but I'm just driving so fast right now. So. But the ride and everything should be quite nice. Class competitive. Yeah. Audi says exterior design is heavily influenced by Lamborghini, but I don't see where it is. So if you can't pick it up, let me know in the comment section. And we have a very sharp looking LED headlamp system. That's a turn signal, high beam, and this is what horn sounds like. Horn sounds pretty loud. And I really like the uh, trapezoid looking grill. Very Audi-ish, classic uh, Audi logo. That's actually radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control. More openings on the bottom right here, but air curtain is actually fake. It's closed. And for Korean car enthusiasts, I was very surprised to find out, but this Audi A3 is actually a little bit smaller even compared to Hyundai Elantra. Very surprised, but nonetheless, this new one is about inch wider and longer than before, but actually comes with same whole base. So let me just quickly show you the second row seats. You guys know I'm about 6'2", and that was where I was sitting. So um, there's a good amount of leg room, pretty good for the class, but headroom, yeah, it's a little bit tight. Window comes down, automatic, almost all the way, it's pretty good. And 
the door opens like this. I do like the design. And uh, you can get it with heated seats uh, as an option, but a tester just did not come with one. Liking the uh, black headliner on the top. Also gets two cup holders, armrests, two air vents, two fast USB charging ports, and this is hump in the middle for the Quattro all-wheel drive system. And we get a regular sunroof on the top. So yeah, except for the headroom, it's pretty all right back here. And they also give you three different separate headrests. So pretty good. Looking at the car from the rear, we have a sequential turn signal. That's backup lamp reflector, fake exhaust. Muffler is actually located on the bottom. Uh, we also have a backup lamp only, you no know, 360 camera. And trunk size is pretty all right. Not the largest, but I think it's pretty all right for the class. We have a 112 volt charging here and grocery bag or handbag holder right there. And they also give you this additional storage area on the bottom. And they also give you fix a flat kits and some tools right there. And you can, of course, for the second row seats to yield more cargo room. Okay, yeah, it's not full flat, but it's, it's pretty good. Looking at the car from the driver's seat, it looks quite tacky. We have a 10 inch gauge cluster. You can also change the view so you can have the big old map like that. Very nice. Uh, to the right, 10 inch infotainment screens. Easy to use, uh, intuitive, and quick to respond. And lots of toggle switches on the bottom. Three stage heated seats, uh, ESC off, hazard button, drive mode selector, ESC off, and everything. We also have uh, two C type charging ports and wireless charging pad for your mobile phone. Start and stop button. I do really like this uh, small dial selector, it yields lots of room. Just push up to go to reverse neutral drive and sports just press here to go to parking and i also do like this uh, little infotainment uh, button right here you hold down to power it off volume up and down like that and then seek button and mute so it's, it's pretty good we have a uh, electric parking with auto hold uh sega jack uh, and some charging ports two cup holders it's a little bit, okay, <laughs> rusty, but it's, we have a small storage area right on the bottom and more right there. And they also give you this uh, cigarette butt holder right there. It says Audi up here, soft touch material. So yeah, seats are quite comfortable. Also give you extended die support, okay. All right, guys, this has been our in-depth review with the 2023 Audi A3. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel. And we also have opened a new Patreon page, so please visit us there. I'll leave a link right on the bottom. It's also another way to support us. So thank you, guys, and see you soon. Today we are with the uh, Audi A3 and uh, we're doing lunch and uh, we came to this place. It's uh, 